boycott's camera and capture the hunter's every move. The teen jumped on the gun platform at the forward-most tip of the catcher. He strapped himself quickly and ripped off the tarp to expose an ugly, rusted 9mm launcher. When he swung it towards the two women with a grin, the catcher pulled up to within 200 yards. Fat, fat, fat. Jan's heart pounded synchronously with the green planet flag whipping above her head. A thrill coiled around her body. She looked over to Raquel, who appeared just as tense with nervous excitement. They leaned down together and lifted their sign. Save the whales, please. The stormy sky chose that moment to blaze alive. Lightning raged down, trapping Jan, Raquel, and the Sven Foyn in a cage of electricity. Thunder blasted. Nature's sound and light show escalated. Bedlam in the skies transferred to the water. Giant swells climbed out of the sea like hooded snakes. The standoff would look like an epic mismatch in Boycott's camp. Two women in a tiny rubber raft holding up a placard for mercy against a large arm vessel climbing higher and higher up a gargantuan wave. Thirty feet above the women, its scaly keel fully exposed, the Sven Foyn poised for what seemed like an eternity atop the foaming crest not ready to collapse. Fuck off! shouted the teen at the top of his voice. He angled the barrel of his gun down and fired with a report that surpassed the roar of sky and sea. A four-foot-long grenade-tipped harpoon sizzled towards Jan and Raquel. Simultaneously, the underbelly of cloud opened with a scream. And a natural growl grew so loud, so fast, no one had time to react. A black monster descended through the gaping vortex. Bang, bang, bang! Starburst bombarded down from it. And a U.S. Navy Black Hawk dropped, firing. The laser guided shots met and detonated the grenade tip harpoon in midair. Tentacles of flame streaked away with an ear rendering blast, and the ink submerged as one. The danger far from over was only beginning. The giant wave disintegrated, hurling the Sven Foyn at the Zodiac. Jan and Raquel emptied their lungs in a scream. But they couldn't deny me. Such was the noise of the weather, water, catcher screws, and rotors. In that second of terror, when death seemed inevitable, Jan glimpsed the red hope. A rope ladder and a throw from the helicopter. Grab it! She shrieked to Raquel. The Sven Foyn crashed down towards them. The women blindly reached up for the ladder that twisted towards them wildly like an attacking serpent. Jan closed her fingers the instant she felt the high tensile weave of her wrong. But could they escape the sun's one bow tip? It came down like the hatchet of God. Aboard the Black Hawk, men in dark Calumet gear reeled up the rope ladder and pulled Jan and Raquel inside. The instant Jan straightened, the officer amongst them saluted Jan Samarly. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Hendricks, ma'am. United, United States, 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 States sorry about the close call. Sorry about the close right. call. We were right over you all the time, but we did not expect them to actually make an attempt on your life. Don't sweat it. Neither did I. Rescue the others. Yes, ma'am. Sure is nice to have your own personal eye in the sky. One of the better perks of being the first lady. 